हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वी आर स्टडिंग पार्टनरशिप अकाउंट फ्रॉम टी एस गिरवाल लेटस सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन फ्रॉम टी एस गिरवाल अकाउंटिंग फॉर पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म फंडामेंटल्स ए बी एंड सी वेर पार्टनर्स इन अ फॉर्म हैविंग कैपिटल्स ऑफ रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड रुपीज वन लैख रेस्पेक्टिवली देर करेंट अकाउंट बैलेंसेस वेर ए रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड बी रुपीज फाइव थाउजेंड एंड सी रुपीज टू थाउजेंड अ डेबिट बैलेंस फॉर सी अकॉर्डिंग टू द पार्टनरशिप डीड द पार्टनर्स वेर एंटाइटल टू एन इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल एट द रेट ऑफ टेन परसेंटेज पर एन एम सी बींग द वर्किंग पार्टनर वॉज ऑल्सो एंटाइटल टू अ सैलरी ऑफ रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर एन एम द प्रॉफिट वेर टू बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज पॉइंट ए द फर्स्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इन प्रपोर्शन ऑफ देयर कैपिटल्स पॉइंट बी नेक्स्ट रुपीज थर्टी थाउजेंड इन रेशियो ऑफ फाइव इज टू थ्री इज टू टू पॉइंट सी रिमेनिंग प्रॉफिट टू बी शेयर इक्वली द फॉर्म अर्न अ नेट प्रॉफिट ऑफ रुपीज वन लैख सेवेंटी टू थाउजेंड बिफोर चार्जिंग एनी ऑफ द अबाव आइटम्स प्रिपेयर प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट एंड पास नेसेसरी जर्नल एंट्रीज फॉर द अप्रोप्रिएशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट so for the solution question number 51 in the books of a firm profit and loss appropriation account for the year ended not given in the question by net profit transferred from profit and loss account as given in the question it is rupees 172000 and interest on capital is to be provided to all the three partners at the rate of 10 percentage per annum so to interest on capitals for a b and C, A and B are having rupees fifty thousand each as capital. So fifty thousands ten percentage is rupees five thousand. For B also same. And C's capital is rupees one lakh. So on one lakh ten percentage will be. Rupees ten thousand, twenty thousand as interest on capital, and the question also says that C being the working partner was also entitled to a salary of rupees twelve thousand per annum to C salary, rupees twelve thousand per annum. and the remaining profits are to be distributed in various ratios a portion wise so let us find out the profit to profit to partner a b and c so the divisible profit will be 172000 is heavier on the credit side Minus twenty thousand, minus twelve thousand. We will get rupees one lakh forty thousand as divisible profit. Now this one lakh forty thousand is to be apportioned among the partners A, B, and C. Now rupees one lakh forty thousand is the divisible profit, but we have to break it into three parts. First is twenty thousand. Then second part is 30000 and the balancing amount will be 90000 if we add this three it will be 140000 only now this 20000 is to be distributed among the partners in their capital ratio which is 50000 is to 50000 is to 1 lakh so ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 2 now Next thirty thousand is to be distributed as suggested in the question. Five is to three is to two, 
and remaining profit that is 90,000 will be distributed equally. So it will be 1 is to 1 is to 1. So how much will partner A get? For A, it will be 20,000 into 1 by 4. 1 divided by sum of the ratio that is equal to 5,000. And for B, it will be again 20,000 into 1 by 4 that is equal to 5,000. And for C, it will be 20,000 into 2 by 4 which is equal to 10,000. Now second 30,000 will be distributed in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. So for A it will be 30,000 into 5 divided by 10 which will be equal to 15,000. For B it will be 30,000 into 3 divided by 10 it will be 9000 and 30000 into 2 divided by 10 will be 6000 and the last 90000 will be given to all the three partners equally so it will be 90000 into 1 by 3 which is equal to 30,000 then for B 90,000 into 1 by 3 that is equal to 30,000 and for C also 90,000 into 1 by 3 that is equal to 30,000 now if we add for A, B and C we will get Rupees 50,000 for A and for B it will be Rupees 44,000 and for C it will be Rupees 46,000. So we will show this in profit and loss appropriation account like A will get Rupees 50,000 in total, B will get Rupees 44,000 and C will get rupees 46,000. Now the journal entry part. Profit and loss account debited to profit and loss appropriation account. One lakh seventy two thousand. being net profit transferred to profit and loss appropriation account then interest on capital is to be charged so interest on capital account debited to A's current account. Why current account? Because current account balances are given in the question which means capital accounts are fixed. So all the appropriation of profits will be transferred to partner's current account. To B's current account and to C's current account. It is rupees 5000 for A, another 5000 for B, and 10,000 for C. Total is 20,000. Being interest charged on capital. Then it will be transferred to profit and loss appropriation account. Profit and loss appropriation account 
डेबिटेड टू इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल अकाउंट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड बींग इंटरेस्ट ऑन कैपिटल ट्रांसफर्ड सो सैलरी अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू सीज करेंट अकाउंट रुपीज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड बींग सैलरी टू सी एंड नाउ दिस सैलरी विल बी ट्रांसफर्ड टू प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट सो प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू सैलरी अकाउंट now first salary account is debited because salary is an expense for the firm and therefore expenses are always debited and it is transferred to sees current account and then profit and loss account will be debited with salary and therefore salary account will once it is debited and then it is credited it is closed and only profit and loss appropriation account and partners current account is open now the last journal entry that is distribution of divisible profit profit and loss appropriation account debited to a's current account to b's current account and to c's current account as discussed before it is 140000 and now when paid to partners as asked in the question it is 50000 for a rupees 44000 for b and rupees 46000 for c being profit to partners that's the solution thank you for watching my channel please like subscribe and share the video thank you so much